So if you watch the repair video, we all know these hum on transmit. I haven't put the case back on, only with one screw because we're waiting for a cable from it to come before I can send it back to the customer. Um, so it is on and the meter lamps are on, the well, meter lamp, there is one central lamp and as I explained in the video, these are not see-through windows. So the backgrounds are metal. So it's just floodlit from the bottom and it's the right bulb and it's the right brightness. Because I know we sometimes see these looking like headlights and they're not supposed to. So uh, I've just heard somebody in Nottingham with a Roger 5 tone or whatever that's about. And we'll go to Mega Chippy Channel. And I've forgotten how annoying the spouse is on these sets. Try again. Tango 21, Mr. Chippy, do you copy? Tango 21, receiving you loud and clear. Excellent. So they're on 19, uh, a bit at the back of the box, but we could hear people at Nottingham, that's 35 miles away. Right, we're up to the end of the lane. Roger got you at the end of the lane. Roger got your Tancaster service station. Roger. Do you have any prices today? If you like, uh, 179.9 and 191.9. And 191.9 is what I would have paid yesterday. I had to put some diesel in the, in the van. So I knew about that over. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, put 40 quid in. <laughs> Luckily, the van does 40 to the gallon. Roger got you at Ancaster Crossroads. I think what helps with the, helps with the audio is it's quite a large and a big magnet forward-facing speaker. You know, much more. Is it four inches that, or even more? It's really good. And the only downside of that is the way the squelch clunks and clunks. When this was a walkie-talkie before it was put in a big box, it wouldn't have sounded like that. And you have this on a nice wooden table. And all you hear is clunkety clunkety clunk with the squelch hovering. Right, we're now passing the top of the hill as we go down in towards Wilsford. Over. Roger got you at the top of the hill. Roger, got you going around Scratchy Corner at Willsford, and I'm on the Murphy CBH 1500 base station, and he's doing a full 4 watts output over. Yep, Roger, that all received. Roger. Well, that was alright, wasn't it? So, for the newcomers, that's what these tests are all about. It is a comparison from the different radios, exactly the same route, exactly the same vehicle, same aerial same radio in the car the only variable thing is what we're testing one of whatever radio it is and so when you watch these different videos for different sets you see how they perform around scratchy corner that is the main point of them we then go on from that's like two and three quarter miles we then go on to a full six miles and we see how it performs the rest of the way right we're now going over Wilsford level crossing over roger got you at Wilsford level crossing and that's the three mile point. Alright, we're now passing the Kelby turn. Over. Roger got you at the Kelby turn. That's the four mile point. The worst one is the next one, which is the Greylease turn. That's the five mile point. And that's because it's surrounded by trees. Alright, we're now passing the Greylease turn. Roger got you at the Greylease turn. That's one of our better ones, to be honest. So this isn't the most sensitive set in the world, but it's still, it's still working out at that distance. Remember, this is all the wrong side of the hill, especially in our worst direction. Roger got you at Rawsby Level Crossing. 
I wonder if you got petrol price there. Yep, 172.9 and 188.9. My goodness, that's an improvement. Wish I got my diesel there yesterday. Yeah, my addition. I wonder where it'd be like this. Uh, well, you'll be able to tell me about that later. Right, well, that concludes the test, thank you. Yep, probably that. 10 10. 10 10. Now, I'm interested, to see, I'm interested to see how the hum is on this because, as you know, the electrics here are a bit hummy anyway. We, we, we're in the middle of nowhere and we're fed from an 11,000 volt line, and then there's a substation transformer only 20 feet away from this building, and so. The, the base station aerial here is just 20 feet from the 11,000 volt line and transform it and we just tend to find that we get a lot of instances where we get a hum which nobody else is going to get when we transmit from a radio on here to the base station but these sets always hum now if you watched the previous video we discovered and I mean I've never thought about this before but the main electrolytic capacitor in the power supply is only a thousand microfarads now any other power supply light is used in these would be 2200 or 3300 microfarads so we've upgraded it to 2200 and I will th would think that is going to help with the hub I don't know what it was like before we're going to find out what it's like now Mentioned before, 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 